Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Medieval Dynasty Overview. There's quite a lot to unpack here, and that's pretty interesting for a quest game. Like normally nowadays we're getting arcades, roguelikes and stuff like that, but nothing around an actual RPGs, adventures, survivals, like it's very rare to see. So whenever that happens, it's always an event. So Medieval Dynasty is an RPG survival simulator game where your task is to endure a variety of challenges starting with basic resources, life levels, politics in the forest, building, cooking, hunting, like literally everything that is supposed to be in a medieval time set period. Let's get this out of the way with the graphics and visuals. Considering this is quest to build, this is not that bad actually. <laughs> you see later, but it goes for an actual survival mechanics that actually makes sense for a simulator type of thing. The game is centered more around the traditional times where there was no tech going on and electricity so you'd be relying on your own skills of surviving, whether it would be living in a forest full of animals and bandits, tundras, essentially anything that was happening before the renaissance. From all the projects of that kind on the quest platform, I feel like this is looking to be a true representation with the mechanics and possibilities. It seems to have a good level of precision going on with tool making and cooking that's definitely way more intricate. It just kind of feels like all of that makes sense. If you'd compare to do something IRL and then transfer here. Some resolutions in the distance I'm not a fan of straight away from the trailer and I wonder if Quest 3 will have an enhancement going on straight away. But regardless I think this is gonna be a relatively solid release. It it just all depends if the whole thing will be coherent with what it wants to convey, which is transporting you to medieval times and literally living there. Let's go to the gameplay. No one prepared you for such a difficult journey, but you had no choice. Mother told you to walk north until you see a valley covered in flowers. When doubt and fatigue get to you, you look at the parchment she gave you. You must learn how to survive, because from this moment on, you can only rely on yourself. Okay. I actually love that there is a storyline, because that doesn't really happen in survivals. Mostly due to the sandbox in nature, but this is a great start. <laughs> Okay, so it's not like the resolution is crazy in the distance. And the assets kind of basic-ish. Yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, that's very handy. Dynasty book. It's so interesting that there's gonna be like some point to the game. So trigger is an instant. What about like the movement? Also works, which is nice. Physicality works. I mean, now it doesn't look that bad. Maybe it's specific 
textures with the trees. I just have statistics, I don't know how to build a campfire. Can this be a weapon? It has some weight to it. I mean, I wish things would appear out of nowhere like that in real life, but this is pretty decent. I wonder if someone can attack us in our sleep, though. I think that's highly likely. So we can easily turn this into the playthrough, which is very surprising to me. <laughs> A medium stick, really? We're gonna play with sizes now? There were three types or something. A reed? I barely know what is this. Jesus. <laughs> the different sounds, I swear. I guess read is to tie it down. <laughs> that works. Under my wrists. Still, the hip would be pretty nice. I will craft too because that's my style. <laughs> I kind of liked if the game would go into more complex stuff, aka tying it up manually, but it's still pretty cool. Correct position. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I just like that it actually simulates how you would actually behave. Swept by the wind, you conquer more peaks and mountain ranges. How do I? Weeks of wandering turn into months. Despite pain and hunger, you don't stop. The goal emerges on the horizon already. The Green Valley. This is the place you were meant to reach. This will be your new home. Your dynasty must survive. I will have now animals. I'm really starting to love this. <laughs> it's so up my alley that... I might just as well start enjoying survival games. <laughs> Do I have like... yeah... How much I can actually carry? So how is the combat? Let me murder you! Oh, I'm not slicing you! <laughs> I suppose I need a knife. Well, that was a waste. If this would have the PC VR port, I would be all over it, honestly. It is Quest 2 build, so for that, this is actually pretty good. Come back! Okay, and now you have like the durability. Okay, now here is. Cool. Oh, there's people. Do I start killing now or not? Well, the pigs are flying. I wonder what will happen. Come on, <laughs> I can't be murderous here. It's a casual game. Have a good day. The models aren't half bad. What can I do for you? Oh, 
a new home. So it seems like recipes are already there. Maybe more will unlock later on, but we have stuff to start with. I guess I need to start my own village. I'll go for a bigger one. I also like there are small sounds that you can recognize what's happening. I wonder if a boar would attack me. Oh shit! Come at me! What an epic fight! So I need a knife to extract stuff. I think that's a hide. <laughs> cool. Do I have like attack statistics? I mean, the devs, I think, are more into survival rather than combat mechanics, so it's not gonna be the main focus. Leave me alone. And I like you just can collect random stuff. Is this someone's? Hello there. Busy with what? Goodbye. I'll take this. I hope you don't mind. Okay, well, this will be my starting area, but unfortunately I need to end it here. I really love this. I think it's just so for me. If it's with the time period, mechanics and the setting, it seems to be working. It's not like heavy intricate, but it's a good middle ground with the crafting possibilities, controlling your statistics. If I will find the time, I will for sure continue this because it's pretty neat and the only downside would be the graphics which will be upgraded i'm sure because it's not like a lot of complicated stuff is going on so there's grant to work on other aspects and it's kind of a refreshing take on the survival genre that i actually find myself very comfortable with